Hi, Data Outliers. Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to factory default a Power G sensor. Now, today we have a wireless smoke detector that is of the Power G variety. If you look on the box of the product, you'll notice that the Power G ones, they do have this little Power G thing right down here that tells you that it is a Power G device. So that's the box, and this is what the device looks like. It's pretty cut and dry. Looks like your, your basic smoke detector. Nothing's going to stand out that's going to tell you that this is a Power G device. But what Power G gives you is encrypted communication from the device to the system. So it gives you another layer of security. Nobody can really see what's being communicated, and it reduces the risk that somebody's going to be able to spoof a device or trick your system into something happening that isn't actually going on. Now, as they are encrypted, when you do enroll it with a panel, it's linked or married to that panel. As in, when it does its initial setup, it has a bunch of different information or data that it gets parsed back and forth to set up that communication. And once it's locked in, it has to be either deleted from the panel or factory reset to add it to a new system. A lot of instances, maybe you swap a system out, you throw the old system out, and you don't remember to default or remove all the devices from that system before putting them in a new system. In that case, then you would need to just default it, and then you can program it to a new system. Another instance is maybe a friend or coworker gives you some devices to install in your home that they were using. <clears throat> There's a chance that they may not have cleared them, and you won't be able to enroll them until you do a factory default. Luckily, factory defaulting a PowerG device is very easy. For the most part, all you have to do is find the enrollment button on the device, hold it down until you see three flashes on the LED, and then it's defaulted. For most PowerG devices, this will be the same process, but on some, it may change. So before you do this with anything, either reach out to your security company or check the installation manual for the device just to see if this is the same process for that device so you don't waste some time trying to, trying to default it. Now, let's go through the defaulting process on this. The first thing that we have to do is take off the back plate. So you just turn it, and it comes right off. It will make some noise. What I'm going to do is just remove the battery to silence it, and then I'm going to put the battery back in. So it gave us a beep. But at least we can work with it without it screaming at us now. Right here on the back, there's a little button and a recessed opening. This is your enrollment button. So I'm going to need to use a screwdriver to press it. And we're going to watch for this LED right here to flash three times, which tells us that the unit is factory defaulted. So pushing it down now. There's one solid flash, which is not what we want. One, two, three. There we go. It's as easy as that. Now our device is factory defaulted and it's ready to be enrolled into a new system. So before you do that, don't put it on, don't put it on its back plate yet because you will need to hit the enrollment button to enroll it to the system. So the whole defaulting process, it allows you to just take the device down, default it, reset it, enroll it, program it, put it back up, and then you're good to go. If you do have any questions, though, about how to default PowerG sensors, how to enroll them to the system, if you're doing something wrong with any of this, feel free to reach out to us. You can give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.